Yo, what is going on boys? It's your man back for another figure review and today we have the for me long-awaited SH Figure Arts Michelangelo figure on the display crate today. Now this guy is uh, quite the great figure. I gotta say I really really do like this figure. If you guys have ever seen the sewer searching series of videos you could see that I uh I, but I think these are the best versions of the cartoon turtles we have at all. The SH Figure Arts versions are the best. And now that I have another one, I can confirm even more that that is true. Now, taking a look at this man, just to get a little paint and sculpt detail going down. I think uh, pretty much everything is exactly the same as the Leonardo, except for the uh, colors. Because I'm pretty sure... These, they have the exact same, like, generic standing there face. And then they have an alternate head that's, you know, a little more characterized. It actually has their expressions. And then, uh, other than that, I think, other than the M, it is the exact same as the uh, Leonardo. But it still holds the same quality. I think it still looks just as good. And uh, I actually, that's one thing about the Turtles I always think they kind of have to do. Is look more the same. And then when they, you know, talk and everything, then you know who they are like in the original comics you could literally unless you see the weapons you cannot tell who is who and i think that's something that's big to the characters but now moving on taking a look at the box quick we have of course generic sh figure arts box a little michelangelo action on the side there one quick uh, tip if you guys are looking to buy sh figure arts tmnt when you see the picture make sure you look and see that the word character on the front is spelt correctly because that is an easy dead giveaway of if it's a fake or not. And I actually bought a Donatello off of eBay. I don't know when it was. A couple of weeks ago or something. And that it was just super fake. And then I had to hit the guy up. I was like, yo, this is fake. And he was just like, I looked into it. And I did not believe it was a fake. No. False. But now, moving on. Continuing with the Michelangelo action. Going over the articulation quick, because uh, this is pretty much going to be almost the same video as the Leonardo. They are pretty much the same figure. It's when we get to the accessories is where it starts to change. Now, at the head here, it looks up pretty good. Looks down the same. So nice neck action going on there. Uh, nice double ball joint at the neck. And then there's a ball joint at the bottom of the neck too. So you get some very, very nice articulation on the neck. Everything is nice and smooth uh, for the... Uh, I guess metal joints that it has I'm pretty sure they're the shoulders maybe the hips and then the knees down are all metal but I do not believe it's a bad thing and my legs a little bit floppy here but it's only that little bit of movement so it's not too bad at all and nothing on these figures really gets loose if anything it's still tight so at the shoulder here go up Ooh, see what I mean super tight very high they got a nice uh, a nice butterfly joint here for some more action this it's nice that they included this but over time of using it with the shell here it's a nice flexible plastic too but it just doesn't work there's too much in the way for that to be able to work so it goes all the way around of course not going to move it. it's too tight at the bicep nice generic bicep swivel nice double jointed elbows works pretty good got some nice flexing going on at the wrist the usual sh figure art style of just hinge swivel and then if you want to get it up and down you just move the hand Pretty smooth, that's usually a little bit rougher to do. Uh, coming down to the waist here, I guess the shell, there's a couple of points of articulation in there. I don't really get much movement out of any of them. I don't know how much it really moves, but it helps a little bit. It's just nice to have the articulation there, because if you want to try and crunch them over, you got something. And I actually figured it out since the last time, there's a ball joint on the shell here. So the shell actually moves. Ugh. I don't know how to even show it. The shell moves on its own so you can adjust it back and forth and it feels like it's just a double ball peg in there so just be careful if you're moving it and if you ever notice it shifting you can actually adjust it it's not just the figure breaking or anything now coming down to the legs here the hips go out to the side that far they go forward pretty decent of course like i said the shell is flexible but it could mold that like it could get warped that way if you leave it too long so be careful at the thigh, nice little bit of a swivelly dibble. Got a loose pad here, not too bad. Double jointed knees. They work quite well. You can push all this more, especially with the metal parts because it's so stiff. I don't want to go all the way. But it's better not to break it than to uh, just get a little bit of a sick pose. I don't know. At the ankles, nice double ball peg. Let me move this foot out the way. 
they work nice and well. You get some uh, rotation and everything you could need. The ankle pivot, it's not too crazy, but it's there, so it works good enough. And uh, with the feet and the bottom of the legs being metal on this guy, it's very nice for balancing. Like, they balance very well. <laughs> and of course, I cannot forget the toe joint. It's, uh, it's something. <laughs> it's just an extra point to add to the articulation. And I guess if you want to go freaky and put him in a crouching pose with the toes all bent, you can. You go ahead. So now after uh, articulation we're gonna go over the accessories here so starting with i guess the interchangeable head you can see he has generic smile stern i don't know then he has much more of a michelangelo type expression here now the one thing is this head it kind of looks weird from certain angles like it looks good head on kind of from the side this side's not bad but I feel like from this side, it's just a weird looking head. It's an interesting one. you got to really look at the angles when using it. But uh, it's not bad. It gives a good expression. It looks like Michelangelo, so I'll take it. And with these heads, there is uh, only one bandana. So you got to pop that sucker off. And it does not move or anything. Just go straight in the peg. A ba boom Man, it's looking good. Now. Ugh. Moving on to the interchangeable hands. So he has the same exact hands as Leonardo, comes with a pair of fists, a pair of these open gripping hands like this, with a hole just through them so it looks like they're grabbing it, a pair of regular gripping hands that's not sealed shut so you can hold, you know, your turtle calm or whatever, whatever you're looking to get in these man's hands. Then he comes with his open, more generic pose hand, and he comes with both of these for each side, so we're looking pretty good. And then other than hands, we'll go to inter more interchangeable pieces. He comes with uh, the piece for the belt on the back to uh, hold the nunchucks, which this one, if you see the Leonardo, they were very, very different colors. This one, I think it's better. I don't think they're the same color still, but it's closer than it was last time. So I guess I can give him props on that one. Maybe it's just my certain figure. Maybe it's just different for everyone. Now, moving on to nunchucks. Let's me look at it straight. We got a couple of uh, pose nunchucks here, solid ones that are sculpted like this, not too bad. A little bit of wavy, this one kind of bent, I don't know. I'm not the biggest fan of these. Uh, at first, I kind of thought they would be poseable, but they're just set in this thing. I, th I think, I'm not going to try and bend it, but I don't think they're bendy by anything. So this is the only pose you get for these boys. Not too bad. If you need like a jump through the air and you want the nunchuck moving, it's not bad. But I will always prefer... These boys, the loose metal chain nunchucks, which these are very nice. Uh, there's not really any paint or anything on them, just like the silver. And I'm pretty sure it's sculpted in this uh, plastic. So you're not going to have to worry about paint rub or anything, which is very, very nice. You see a chain there? You do, of course, get two of these men, which is very, very nice. I really do like metal chained uh, nunchucks. And they do work super, super well. They're very, very nice. Now, coming over here, looking at the grappling hook. I thought it opened and closed, but it's just open. So I literally just took this out of the package. I did not take this out for a while. You can see there, little shell, nice actual rope. And then you get a little nub at the end. This one looks very nice. And I'd actually say I probably like the look of this one more than the NECA one. But uh, the NECA one does actually function, so it has that over it. Now, getting all this back into the corner a little bit. Staining my mend up nice, nice. For some comparisons. Now... Bringing in first a couple of NECA figures to compare them to. We have Michelangelo with said grappling hook. It took me a second to think of it there. And then we have the man, the myth, the legend, Bebop. Which just shows again, these figures, I'll get a, a NECA figure that's actually more in a regular pose for size reasons. They are very, very close in scale. And I think that's why these uh, phew, the SHF ones work so well is because they're pretty much NECA, but with updated articulation, just a little bit of a downgraded paint job, which I don't mind at all. Because with the turtles, I feel like you have your two looks. You know, if you want the one that looks accurate, get the NECA. If you want the one that poses better, get the SHF. Which uh, I gotta say, the SHF, the prices, if you actually like stay alert and whatever and look on eBay, you can get them for pretty good prices. Like I got this Michelangelo brand new for like 60 bucks, which is not bad at all. And uh, other than that, the SHF ones, they're creeping onto the scene now. They're very easy to get, and they're actually very, very good figures. Compared to new SHF, it's unbelievable. Now, I'm bringing in 
the movie Michelangelo, just for a little bit of a comparison. Bringing in this man, Leonardo. Good. This again, I think uh, NECA, they really, really do have some of the best Ninja Turtles figures out there. And I think literally the only thing that makes me put SHF over NECA is just the amount of uh, articulation they have. But I think if you don't care about that, NECA wins in almost every department. They have tons of accessories, tons of uh, paint. I don't know. It looks good and they're not too hard to get, which is also a very, very good thing. With all the times they've released the NECA ones, it should be cheap. Or at least retail. Now, just some uh, other figures. We got Carnage with an axe. And the Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Let's go. This figure has actually grown on me quite a lot recently, the Super Saiyan 4 Goku. But, that, other than that, scale. Man is short but thick. He's got that weight to him. He actually is very, very hefty. Hefty, hefty boy. Hefty. But now, after comparisons here nice and done give a little bit of a final thoughts on this figure i'd say uh if you're looking to get an shf ninja turtle michelangelo probably is the, the one to go for but he is about the most expensive the only one i've seen that's more expensive is Raphael, but i really don't see him at all so i'm not sure if that's just like that or if he actually is more expensive now neca versus this i'd say honestly just go for neca they're not, unless you really want the articulation, it's not worth it going for the SHF. It's a lot of a hassle to get them. And, <coughs> excuse me. And they're actually a lot more expensive. If you kind of think about it, because you could probably get two of the SHF for the price of the four pack of uh, Holothon or even the Turtles in Disguise, anything. So it's just up to you, whatever you like. Shellheads go off in the comments section, fight each other on which figures are better, personally. I like them all. I just purchase all of them. I don't, I don't discriminate on figures. That's what sometimes I don't get it. People be like, yo, this figure sucks. This figure is better. You know what? I just buy both of them. I don't even care. So, uh, moving on. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, next video is probably going to be on the SHF Taskmaster. And I do again, hope to start posting frequently again. It's been about two weeks since the last one. Ooh, ooh. I'm sorry about that, but thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Have a good day.